This is going to sound crazy considering the amount of wax seal content I've put on the internet, but I've never done this before. And I can't even open the box. There we go. octagons. <laughs> I am pleased that the lords of true octagons have blessed me and brought me the things I need to make this video. As you can see, it says it right here. The company is called Uniku. I think that's how you say it. And their information is right here. I have given these products my seal of approval and I did steal that joke from somebody on Instagram who commented on one of my videos and I'm sorry. And I should probably look up your name and put it on the screen. And I probably will. But I stole that joke. But it was, it was corny and punny and I liked it. So at some point in this video, I should probably say the words, all products in this video were sent to me by Uniku for the purposes of trying them out and seeing if I like them. Oh, except for Fernando. He's very hot. Oh, he's hot. I was just using him. Why did I touch him? Oh, except for Fernando and the spoon and Steven. Those are mine. Though I do have an Uniku spoon, but I'm not going to use it in this video because A, they didn't send it to me for this video, and B, I'm saving it for a video about only spoons. Yes, I am making a video about just spoons. I have a lot of spoons and you need to know about them. So the company that provided the supplies for this video are sellers of the True Octagons, as seen here. My camera won't focus. I believe they are the first place I ever bought True Octagons from. I'm not positive, but I'm like 90% sure that the first time I ever bought Octagons that didn't, you know, burn and stink like the Pooptagons was from this place. I just spent the last like 10 minutes looking for the Pooptagons. I don't think I own them anymore, which is probably fine because I'm never going to melt them again because they burn and make a smell that I'm pretty sure is toxic from what I've read. And because of the way it smells, it's pretty terrible. But I can find footage from the last time I did it for demonstrative purposes and uh, put it up here on the screen like magic. I'm pretty sure this stuff is not supposed to get hot. I am pretty sure this isn't thermoplastic or resin or beeswax or a mixture of anything. I'm pretty sure it's just plastic. It's just plastic and it's not supposed to melt. It's not supposed to be this hot. So let me show you what happens. The only other octagons I've ever used that are good, besides the true octagons that you can find from various sellers, are these little boys. I want to see my little boy. I've shown these in videos before. They're from letterseals.com. They are much smaller than the other octagons, but they work really well. Okay, yes, as you can see, these little boys. I want to see my little boy. Are little. They also tend to be more expensive, I've noticed, um, but they work really well and they come in a lot of different colors. But since the company that sells them didn't provide the supplies for this video, you know, I'm gonna uh, not use them. Okay, let's start with some octagons and go from there. idea 
idea what I'm doing, but I think it will be very cool when I'm done. So I'm just gonna do it, you know? Sometimes you just have to do a thing and see how it goes. Hmm, it wasn't quite as circular as I wanted. Came out okay. Some people can get it to be like really neat and I can't do that. I don't know how they do it. Carefully. Okay, so this is way cooler looking than I even thought it would be. I'm a genius and I'm awesome and I make really cool things and I really just kind of like embrace that part of myself instead of like being, no, 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 you always mess up. We have to stop doing that to ourselves, you know? This is gonna sound crazy considering the amount of wax seal content I've put on the internet, but I've never done this before. Okay, let's give this a shot. And squeeze. I don't know how hard it out more. Oh, that's convenient. Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh, nope. Hot glue gun. I already burned myself on the hot glue gun. Putting that out there for all of you to know. Off camera. But I feel like I'm required to tell you guys that now. Oh, that worked. Now that does it come off of the brock? Does it come off? Oh yeah. It's pretty handy. It works a lot better than actual hot glue, which I've just put directly on the stone before and tried to get off. Not good. And we have a nice sprig of pine. I'm not really sure. I'm not very good at plants, but it looks like pine needles and I like it. For my own amusement, I am going to be melting the hot glue wax on Fernando. It is like it's softer. I can, I can bend it and I know I'm not focused, but you can bend it. I'm curious to see how it does over essentially an open flame. Ooh, that melts really fast. That's like really fast. So the things I've learned about hot glue wax are if you're not going to buy a hot glue gun specifically for using hot glue wax, you have to make sure you have a low temperature hot glue gun or at least a hot glue gun that has a low temperature setting. Do not put it on high. Trust me, we're not going to get into what happened, but don't do that. And secondly, no matter what length of time you need to stop hot gluing, do not leave the hot glue gun on. Do not leave it idle for any period of time because as you can see, this melts really, really, really fast and it will melt and liquefy inside the hot glue gun just sitting there. It will collect and when you tip it back, it will come out. So I'm not against hot glue gun wax and I think it's really good if you have a ton of seals to do, like you're doing a wedding or a birthday or something like that. Heck, if you're doing a really big D&D campaign and you have a lot of wax seals you gotta do. But you need to be aware of the dangers, you need to be aware of how it's different, and you need to do it all at once. Or you have to turn your hot glue gun off when you take a break. Unlike regular hot glue where you can kind of leave it on low and put the little kickstand out. You can't do that with this. Man, it's melting fast. It kind of looks like a really skinny hot dog. It's almost the color of hot dogs. Nothing against Uniku, just saying this color in particular. <laughs> the other color was better in my opinion. This one is a little hot doggy. Tiny bit hot dog, you know? You know when something's a bit hot dog? And... They sent me the bee. If you've been in the wax seal community for any length of time, you know this bee. It is the bee. I guess I made a hot dog bee. Hot dog bee. Bee dog. Dog bee. Bot bog. The funny part about the bee is that I actually didn't own it before they sent it to me. And like everyone owns the bee. So many people own the bee. If you've done wax seals, you probably own this bee. 
To prove my point, leave a comment if you own the bead. So I've already used all the stamps they sent me. They sent me three. So I'm gonna do one more weird thing with the other colors of True Octagons because I got an idea and I need to do it. Okay, I have no idea if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it anyway. Oop. Oh no, too close to the fire. Yep. That was very satisfying. Oh, look. Like, dang. Well, time to wait for it to cool. While it cools, I will scrape the spoon make a little make a little little drop boy if i can get it on camera yeah i'm sort of on camera if you save all of your drop boys you will have so much wax in the future you don't even know you don't even know this is gonna take a lot longer than the usual stamp, so I'm gonna, you know, come back to it. I forgot to mention, but these particular colors, the ones I just used with the nice shimmer in them, they smell weirdly good. I don't know why. Not all of the True Octagons smell good, but those colors in particular, that set, smells really good. First drop boy. Now big, big drop thing. Oof, there we go. Well, that turned out pretty good. I'm pretty on board with that. I don't know, it could be like the, it could be like the seal, the wax insignia from like a steampunk overlord. And to prove my point, by the way, about those uh, those wax drop boys, little drop boys, let me see, I gotta get both of them down here. I have these two bowls, those two bowls, but that's not all I have. I might actually have to bring the camera around over here for this one. I pull out my big drawer. This right here is the bead organizer where I keep all of my drop boys. I have a good amount of them. I take them out of the bowls that you saw earlier and I put them in this bead organizer kind of vaguely by color so I can use them again. Probably should do the same thing with my scraps. I should like turn them into drop boys and keep them, but I really like filling up cups and jars, so I'm gonna keep doing that. <laughs> 